very much. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice from... Uh, it's very pleasing to be sitting there and uh, listening to all the reflections of um, various, um, I guess, stakeholders that participated in the, the first competition. So primarily and most importantly are uh, the students themselves and we heard from uh, a, a brief selection of those and I really congratulate uh, the, um, the three uh, top prize winners that we heard from but indeed the uh, top 10 and top 30 and indeed all the students but of course it's, it's a complex um, it's, a pro it's a complex process uh, to run this um, we needed the support uh, of the supervisors we needed evaluators to give their time and uh, of course right at the beginning I needed strong support from <coughs> partners in in Pakistan so I'd particularly like to thank uh, the VC of uh, the Vice Chancellor of University of Haripur uh, I'd like to thank HEC for their support um, not only during the process of the competition but uh, very kindly and at short notice giving us uh, the opportunity to hold uh, these events here today. It's been uh, a fantastic event and uh, really appreciated the uh, uh, opportunity to meet many of you. Um, it's always uh, very pleasing for me to see smiling faces and enthusiasm and uh, certainly saw a lot of those uh, today and uh, it's um, it, it, it's just wonderful. Um, I should remember to thank uh, Imran Kadir for his uh, um, endless uh, enthusiasm for, for the concept. I think uh, that fateful <coughs> uh, time when Imran and, and uh, Malik, my PhD student at the University of Queensland, when they had their uh, the conversation that we've heard about, um, that uh, really started and sparked uh, the whole chain of events with the webinar and then following webinars and then we came up with the idea of well let's do a competition let's do it in Haripur and uh, before we knew it uh, we had the crazy idea of um, doing it <coughs> right across Pakistan and right across all areas and topics so uh, if you think about that that's it's quite amazing that um, you could pull that off because if you were to ask yourself what are the commonalities between and across research areas you might think there's, there's not much common at all and that uh, researchers in different areas would have no chance of ever um, communicating or, or discussing what they do in a way that would be meaningful but I think what this has shown is uh, that those barriers while they're clearly there when we get to the technical the, the super technical side of research when we think about what are the common elements that might be required in any research situation um, th there are a lot of commonalities and uh, I'm really excited <coughs> that not only have we had a success uh, in this first round but it's um, very likely and uh, we, we need to and, and make sure everything is in place but that we vision for 2018-19 uh, we had very productive meeting this morning with the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan and uh, they um, uh, very kindly agreed to be strong supporters uh, in, in terms of promoting um, the competition going forward. Uh, foundation partners of this competition will be um, University of Haripur in Pakistan and the University of Queensland. Um, we're particularly keen and, and see it as greatly important that we, sp we spread the network of, of strong uh, universities across Pakistan to, to be involved in, in this process going forward. Uh, and already we've had some preliminary discussions <coughs> with uh, those that have been in attendance today. Uh, these dis discussions will continue. Um, and I think as 
uh, the development and uh, um, thoughts progress towards the end of this year and uh, we will we will certainly crystallize uh, the shape and the form uh, of a new competition um, and now that I've I've come to Pakistan I'm very uh, comfortable to do that again at a more timely point in the process of that second competition where uh, there wouldn't be such a, a long gap of time between when we announce the winners and uh, we have this closing ceremony. So I think everything is very positive going forward for what uh, can be a really productive uh, research um, program and process. It's, it's part of, as I said this morning, um, capacity building. It's, it's capacity building at the grassroots level and uh, the stronger the group that we can create moving forward and the support that we can get right across the sector uh, will give us a lot of strength in terms of making this uh, hugely um, productive and successful event going forward. This year, as you've heard, we had um, just over 100 uh, entries uh, across, I think, almost uh, or about 20 uh, universities in Pakistan. Um, there was a wide variety of, of uh, topic areas and, and disciplines covered and uh, I think in, in the upcoming version of this it, it can only become stronger and, uh, and more exciting and, and one thing that um, we could investigate doing in terms of a, a follow-up competition is that we could coincide the announcement of winners in an event like this where we have the finalists actually orally pitch their research to an audience like this. And that's what I do at the University of Queensland. I run a, a UQ-wide um, competition and the finalists get um, about eight to ten minutes to present their pitch to the audience, so they'd have a set of slides that are, uh, are quite faithful to the framework and the audience uh, sits and listens and, and absorbs what uh, the research is that they've been working on. And it, this brings out additional skills, so the oral skills then become quite important. And we know uh, in terms of having a successful career um, pretty much in any area, in any discipline, uh, not only is one's ability to uh, work in a diligent way around research, to write well uh, and communicate in a written form, but to be able to communicate orally uh, to an audience is an additional skill and that I think would be an innovation and an additional capacity building element to this competition as we go forward. So uh, I think we will open the lines of communication going forward for the competition. We, uh, through the agency of the University of Haripur and I guess primarily um, uh, Imran Kadir would be uh, uh, welcoming of um, communication from other institutions who uh, uh, are willing to um, come on board and uh, help promote in a a more systematic way uh, this this uh, um, competition uh, going forward and I think uh, we I know Imran's got been uh, quite stressed uh, over the last few weeks and uh, and I think he and his team uh, are to be congratulated uh, and they need a break they need a rest so we won't jump into this um, too quickly uh, but we will do it and we'll do it in a measured way and uh, and I think it's uh, going to reinforce the positive alliance and collaboration uh, between Pakistan and Australia. Uh, Australia will be the University of Queensland and the business school uh, that are our primary supporters. And um, I think that's pretty much uh, everything. I'd, I'd just like to uh, thank everyone that's come along today and uh, been part of uh, this uh, ceremony, this celebration. Uh, as, and maybe my final comment, is um, referring back to uh, uh, the Vice-Chancellor's um, 
almost his final comment when he said, when he said, when I started my webinar, uh, and the theme we had was reaching the unreachables, and 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 that wasn't um, a theme that I came up with. Malik, my PhD, Pakistan PhD student, suggested that, and I sort of said to him. Uh, uh, are you sure this is okay? I don't want it to be offensive, and and he has reassured me it, it was actually there was a positive message there, um, and and uh, and I embrace that. But as has been pointed out, and it's very obvious now, this is not a webinar. It's not about having a virtual uh, reach to any unreachables. You're not unreachable at all. And uh, I, I, I almost feel like I have to apologise for any offence that that might have caused. Um, I'm happy to be here and uh, I really am uh, convinced this is a, this is a great initiative uh, and as much of my time as I can devote to assisting um, this program and, and uh, the university sector in Pakistan, if, if you're happy to uh, encourage me, uh, then then I will volunteer my time as, as much as I can, but I do like travelling to other parts of the world as well. So thank you very much and I uh, and, uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Uh, thank you, Professor. Uh,